I'm always amazed uh, when you land and you get to the airport and, and you get your first tour of town of just how normal life can, can actually, strangely enough, look. And Tegucigalpa didn't look that much different from a lot of places that were not very violent. I met some uh, folks from MSF and everyone that I came in contact with had a, a story within the last month of a family member, a close friend being killed. The community there, the prostitutes, the homeless uh, children, and then just the destitute poor are just some of the worst situations I, I've, I've ever seen in my life. They have nothing. Life is simply trying to scavenge enough to make it through the day, but also to worry about your security, your family security. This young man, he was severely disfigured. He had been run over deliberately uh, by a car. An MSF worker right now is trying to persuade him to go see a doctor, to go to a hospital, because he's about to lose uh, one of his eyes if he doesn't get any medical attention. And he really just didn't want to go. Just the idea of being away from his friends, being away from his, you know, his glue for an uh, unknown amount of time was just anathema. He just wouldn't, wouldn't give in. There's a family that, that lives right next to this dumpster, and they own the dumpster, really. It's their means of, of a living. So there's a number of children in the family who, um, who are, are malnourished. They're on a, on a river, which is, which is certainly you know, toxic. The, the, the team is very familiar with the family. We'll stop there uh, you know, a couple times a week, see what are the uh, immediate medical needs, problems they're having, uh, psychological or personal. And these people um, have really, uh, again, developed a strong relationship with the MSF team. There's a couple of streets in the capital that uh, are kind of gathering points for, for prostitutes, and the area where prostitutes congregate is actually one of the more dangerous areas. Besides the MSF outreach program that's, that's providing on-the-spot counseling, medical assistance, condoms, um, if someone's been abused, uh, raped, get them to a hospital, get them to a hotel for the night to wait for a clinic to open or to wait for a, a doctor to come see them because they literally just have this is no one else to turn to. Alcoholism is a huge problem in Tegucigalpa and it's very violent and very in your face uh, and very much in the street. Many of them need immediate medical care. There's a lot of, a lot of fights. And they're an extremely vulnerable and, and, and sad community that has uh, very few places to turn. These communities that the team uh, assist, really, there really is a bond. There's a really powerful uh, trust. There is just a need to, for these people to tell their story because, you know, let's be honest, very few people know and very few people care.